Our first topic up for calculation in this unit is molarity. Molarity is the number of moles of solute per liters of solution, and that's an important definition to know. The other thing that's important to know is molarity is always represented with a capital M. We're going to learn what a lowercase m means later on in this unit, so we have to be consistent with using a capital M for molarity. Molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. So we're going to take whatever grams we have of our solute, which is what we're dissolving, turn it into moles, and then divide it by liters. Again, this is another unit where occasionally milliliters are okay, but for the most part we need liters, and so a lot of people also in this unit find it safer to always convert to liters for any problem, and then they don't need to make a decision. So problems will look like this, and we're going to go through quite a few because they do get presented in a bunch of different ways. Calculate the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 11.5 grams of sodium hydroxide in enough water to make a 1.50 liter solution. So we're going to take, oops, we're going to take 11.5 grams of NaOH, and we're going to um, use the gram formula weight of 40.0 grams of NaOH, and we're going to convert it to one mole. Of NaOH and we're going to go ahead and do the math and divide by 40 and we get 0.2875 moles. To solve for my molarity I'm going to say molarity is equal to moles 0.2875 and I'm not worried about my significant figures until I get to my final answer. doesn't matter if you wanted to cut that down to 3 and make it 288. I just happen to write 2875, but I'll take care of it when I get to my final answer. Divided by liters, 1.50 liters. So I'll go ahead and divide, and I get 0.192. And the units are typically capital M, or it can be 0.192 moles per liter. Let's try another one. Calculate the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 1.56 grams of hydrochloric acid into enough water to make a 26.8 milliliters of solution. So 1.56 grams of HCl. I'm going to convert it to moles. Um, and so I'm going to put grams of HCl on the bottom. HCl weighs 36.51, one mole of HCl on top. I go ahead and I solve the problem and I get 0.0427 moles of HCl. My molarity is equal to moles per liter, so 0.0427 moles, but notice that I have milliliters. And so in order to convert to liters, most of you know this divide by a thousand, but I'll show you the work here just in case. You wouldn't need to show me this work, but I want to make sure everybody knows what we're doing. One liter is equal to a thousand milliliters, and so we move our decimal places, move our decimal place three places to the left, and it's 0 0.0268 liters. You wouldn't need to show me this calculation. You could just go ahead and, and do it. Um, 0 0.0268 liters, I go ahead and divide, and I get 1.59 m. And that's typically what you're going to see, is you're going to see that m um, for molar, and not as much the moles per liter. We're just sort of expected to know that. Um, there can be all sorts of answers for molarity, from decimal numbers to whole numbers, um, and so that's another thing to take into consideration. Let's look at another one. Calculate the number of grams of sodium phosphate required to make 150 milliliters of a 2.5 molar solution. So now, in this case, I'm given my molarity. So I have molarity is equal to moles over liters. And I'm given my volume, and I'm given my molarity, and I need to solve for moles. Once I solve for moles, I can convert that to grams. So if I rearrange this equation, molarity 
times, and I have liters there, so I can leave that as liters, is equal to moles. So my molarity is 2.5 molar. My volume is 150 milliliters, but I really need 1, 2, 3, 0.150 liters. And so 2.5 times 0.15 gives me 0.375 moles. That's not what my question asks. It asks for the number of grams, so I'm going to take 0.375 moles. And I need to know how to write the formula for sodium phosphate. So here this formula writing is back as something that we need to know how to do. So it's Na3PO4. And I'm going to convert that um, by putting one mole of Na3PO4 on the bottom. And I figured out my gram formula weight to be 163.97 grams. So I go ahead and multiply that. And I get 61.5 grams as my answer. And I believe we have one more to try. How many liters of solution are needed to dissolve 5 grams of hydrochloric acid to make a 3.0 molar hydrochloric acid solution? This would be a great one for you to do a self-check on. So I'm going to ask that you go ahead and pause the video and try to solve the problem. And then I'll have the solution there ready for you to do. Okay, so let's take a look at what, we, what I did here. I wrote my equation for molarity. It's moles divided by liters. I rearranged the equation, molarity times liters equals moles, and then I need to solve for liters. So liters is equal to moles divided by molarity. Well, I was given grams, and so I have to take 5.0 grams and convert that to moles. My gram formula weight is 36.51, and I end up with 0.137 moles of hydrochloric acid. I'm gonna use my equation, liters, is equal to moles divided by molarity. I have my 0.137 moles. I divide it by my three molar solution and I get 0 0.046 liters, which is fine to leave that as your answer. Oh, because it actually asked for how many liters. Occasionally it asks for how many milliliters. So this that I did here, 46 milliliters, is totally irrelevant. But sometimes you are asked for how many milliliters. And this would be our answer since we were asked for liters. But I went ahead and multiplied that by 1,000 to get 46 milliliters. You want to make sure that you understand these problems inside out, forwards, backwards, um, and upside down because this is just the, the tip of the iceberg of this unit and it's going to be the basis for all of our other calculations. So you really want to make sure that you have a good understanding of all the different ways to do a molarity problem.